of the containers in a starting position. Take four different liquids, milk, honey, water and kerosene. Pour the liquids along the scale placed into the containers. Do all of the liquids flow at the same speed? No, they don't. Honey flows very slowly. Milk flows a little faster than honey. Water flows very easily. Kerosene flows faster. Honey, being a very viscous liquid, flows very slowly. And kerosene, being less viscous, flows very fast. What shape does each liquid attain in each of the containers? All the liquids take the shape of the container in which they were born. In liquids, the space between the particles is slightly more than in solids, but still very less. The force of attraction between the particles is strong enough to hold the particles together, but not strong enough to hold the particles in a fixed position. Thus, Particles in a liquid are not as closely packed as in solids. The kinetic energy of the particles is more than that of solids. Thus, liquids have a disorderly arrangement of particles compared to solids. Due to these reasons, liquids not have a fixed shape, but have a fixed volume. They cannot be compressed much. The particles of a liquid can slide over one another. Therefore, liquids take the shape of the container in which they are formed. Liquids show a property called viscosity. More viscous liquids flow slowly, while less viscous liquids flow easily. When they spill on a plain surface, liquids have a tendency to spread and flow in the surrounding areas. This property called fluidity. Diffusion takes place faster in liquids. It can be clearly seen in the spread of potassium permanganate into water. Also, gases like carbon dioxide and oxygen also diffuse in water, which help the aquatic plants and animals to breathe. The gaseous state. Let us perform an experiment to understand some characteristics of gases. Take three balloons of different shapes. Blow up all the three balloons. What do you observe? How are the shapes of the three inflated balloons? Air has taken the shape of the balloons in which it was filled. This shows that air does not have a fixed shape of its own. Take an uninflated balloon. Are the inflated balloons heavier or lighter than the uninflated balloons? The inflated balloons are slightly heavier than the uninflated balloons. This is because Air has mass. In gases, 
The particles are much further apart from one another as compared to solids and liquids. They have a very disorderly arrangement of particles compared to solids and liquids. The force of attraction between the particles is negligible. Hence, particles of a gas move freely in all directions. Gases thus can spread in all directions and mix or diffuse into other gases. They can also be compressed easily like in the LPG cylinders used at home and the CNG Study. A 
Albert Einstein predicted a fifth state of matter called as the Bose-Einstein condensate. Scientists Eric Cornell, Gattel and Wiener of the USA received the Nobel Prize in Physics for achieving the Bose-Einstein condensation. The Bose-Einstein condensate or BEC is formed by cooling a gas of extremely low density Super low temperatures. Let's do a quick check. Two beats of the above particles will increase the beat of fastest. Bima does it? No, 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 Yeah. 
separation increases on increasing the surface area of the nipple. Temperature. The rate of evaporation increases on increasing the temperature. When the liquid is heated, more particles of the liquid get enough kinetic energy to change into the vapor state. This increases the rate of evaporation. Humidity in the air. Humidity is the amount of water vapor in the air. When the humidity in the air is more, the evaporation is slow. And when the humidity in the air is less, the evaporation is fast. Speed of wind. When the speed of wind increases, the particles of water vapor move away from the wind, thus decreasing the amount of water vapor in the surroundings. Thus, rate of evaporation increases. Cooling due to evaporation. How does evaporation cause cooling? When evaporation occurs, the particles of the liquid absorb heat from the surroundings. Thus, the surroundings lose heat and get cool. Why does desert cool cool better on a hot, dry day? On a hot day, due to the increase in temperature, the rate of evaporation of water is more. Also, the dryness of the air that is, decrease in humidity of the air increases the rate of evaporation. Then, a desert cooler cools better on a hot, dry day. Why should we wear cotton clothes in summer? In summer, we perspire more. Cotton being a good absorber of water,